Potassium is a crucial element in plant nutrition. As a plant moves into the flowering phase, it will need proportionally more potassium. Let's have a look at why potassium is so important. Potassium plays an important role in the absorption of water and the plant's management of water. It affects the absorption of water through the roots, the functioning of the stomata, the turgidity of the plant, and the transportation of sugars throughout the plant. It is estimated that plants take up five to 10 times as much potassium as nitrogen or phosphorus. Potassium becomes the predominant ion in solution, heavily influencing the osmotic potential of the entire plant right down to the level of individual cells. Potassium stored at higher levels in the cell raises the osmotic pressure in the cell, and this is what makes the plant cells turgid. In addition to water uptake and management, potassium is critical for the production of key enzymes, proteins and other compounds. A shortage of potassium will result in a plant that is soft and weak. The leaves develop necrotic spots across the surface of the leaf, partly because of the lack of water to cool the leaf. An excess of potassium can produce burn marks around the leaf tips, similar to those of a high EC. Canna's ratio of potassium is lower in the vegetative nutrients, so that even at higher dosages, less potassium enters the plant because the ratio of potassium to other nutrients stays the same. The floral nutrient has a higher ratio of potassium. At a lower dosage, canna provides the same amount of potassium as the vegetative nutrient, as an absolute value. But we can build up the amount of potassium by giving a higher dose. The ratio of potassium will be even higher when you add the phosphorus potassium nutrient, PK1314. The other elements are already at the right level for the plant. But when the plant begins to form flowers, it will need more potassium. Canna recommends this extra PK for a period of about one week only, because this will provide enough potassium in the substrate for absorption through the roots, if the plant has formed enough flowers. If the plant doesn't have enough flowers, the leaves will absorb this extra potassium, which will damage the plant. So to prevent over-fertilization, only give the plant PK1314 when it has developed enough flowers. Other brands have different amounts of potassium in their basic nutrients and additives. If you mix different brands, the balance of elements will be disrupted and becomes likely that the plant will not get the right amount of potassium. So don't mix brands.